Latoya, to Susan, to Cheryl. Come on. Thank you so much for sharing, guys. I was seeing all these shares on there. Thank you. We're just so excited for what God's going to do today. I, I just loved that song we just heard. Oh, oh my God. It just, Jesus. it gets you excited and it stirs something inside of your spirit just to be ready to receive this morning. Mm. So, hello, Mike. Thank you so much for logging on this morning. We're just, God just has so much in store for everybody here. Um, I just feel like a stirring in my belly. Um, I feel like the presence of God. You know what I feel the most? I feel joy. Yeah. I felt this intense joy, like a supernatural joy. Like, you know, those moments when you don't even know why you're happy, but you're happy. <laughs> Come on. That's what I feel like, like, like we just need to be happy and full of his joy. Um, God, you know, it, you know, the glory is just, it's just, it just starts stirring up inside of us. Come on. Mm. Yeah. Holy ghost. Listen, I, I'm just gonna, I remember how we first started, you know, and that's what, something more is just reminding me of right now. Then when we first started doing what we do here in Radio Jesus, we started off with a group of kids. For those who don't know much about our, our history and how we started off with Radio Jesus, but we started off with a group of kids in a room that the Lord just gave us vision for them to be a platform to reach their their other youth. And it was real teens or real testimony. And that's what the Lord was breathing on. You know, but the, there was moments that we would go live on the radio and the, the, the power of God would just fall in the studio where everybody would just drop on their floor and we would drop on the floor and it was face to face to the ground and we would be live and there'd be people all over the world listening, but there was no agenda. There was no agenda. We didn't have to do it a certain way. We didn't have to have a formula, you know, and I feel like even this morning, like, I just want to be in the presence of the Lord this morning. Like just, I can feel the glory of the Lord right now. I can just feel the presence of the Lord. And you know, this presence, of the, this is, a, it's tangible. It's tangible and it, it's, it's, it's transferable. And I'm going to tell you what, right now where you're at, even where you're watching, if you're watching, if you're listening right now, you can take a breath. You can breathe in the goodness of God. You can breathe him in right now where you're at. Just take a deep breath and breathe in the presence of the Lord. <laughs> because see, that's where the joy is at. That's where your strength is at. Oh, Jesus. Hi, Julie from Australia. Thank you so much. Hi, Laura. We're so excited that you came to join us this morning. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Yes. Do me a favor, please share this broadcast. <clears throat> we're gonna share some things in just a minute, but we're just we're just hanging out in the glory. We're just hanging out right now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I, I just I feel like uh, like God is saying something right now. Um, that that you're gonna hear this and it's gonna make sense to you. His grace, <clears throat> because of His grace and His mercy. He's bringing to completion some areas of your life mm. because there's a push for the new beginning. There's something new that God is going to begin to do today in some of your lives. And it's because of his grace that some things need to come to a completion. It has to come to a finishing point for you to grab on to your new beginnings. And uh, I just feel like the Lord is saying that this morning. Like, it's okay to let go certain things. Um, there's grace in letting go certain things in your life. Like, I, I just, I keep hearing a book flipping, Sheena, and, uh, and chapters. Like, wow. I just feel like certain chapters in your life are going to end and sometimes, you know, fear comes in and doubt comes in and confusion tries to come in when you're closing chapters in your life. And it doesn't mean that you can't come back to those chapters and reopen them and read them because they were, they're a part of your life. It, it was a season in your life for you to receive what God was speaking to you at that moment. But chapters are closing today. And it's okay because it's impacted you. It's changed your life. But 
grace has is speaking this morning. I just feel that like grace is speaking this morning. There's going to be a completion of some things for you in your life, but only because he has some new beginnings for you, mm. some new chapters in your book that he wants to write about your life, your story. Each and every one of you have a special story about your life. I believe that's why the Lord was even stirring that up inside of Pete um, with the kids and how Radio Air Jesus started. That was that was the launching point. That was the starting point, but it wasn't the finishing point. Come on. And so um, good. and chapters, Thank they you change so and Jesus. you finish chapters in your life. Each one of us, we're a book. We're Jesus' book yes. that he wrote. He wrote the story of our life before we were even born. And he talks about that when he says your 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 steps are ordered. That that's our book. Like he wrote a book about us. We were in his imagination. We were in his dreams. We were in his hopes. And he each one of us has our own book. And in that process. There's chapters that you finish writing for the Lord. Mm. And there comes a completion of those chapters. Wow. Yeah. And then, then he gives us a brand new sheet of paper, a brand new pen. Don't you just like the way new paper smells? I love the way new paper smells, especially in new books. And you get that new paper and there's new vision there. There's something new that he wants to deposit inside of you. And don't let fear come in and cause doubt and confusion because certain chapters are going to be closed, but he's starting something new. He's writing new chapters inside of you. So I, I just feel like, like yeah, no, that's, that's for good. a lot of people right now for the body of Christ. Well, no, even last, even last night, you know, we had our worship in the word and it was such a beautiful time of just worship and presence of the Lord. But there was some, there was a couple that came and it was funny because I really believe that's even a word, not just for, yeah, it was, it was a word that was released to them, but it was, I believe it's a word for even the bride that goes along with what you're saying. And it was funny because I saw in the spirit where the Lord was shooting arrows Remember, it was like he was shooting arrows and the arrows had names and these names was the arrow was called new beginning. It was new beginnings, arrows of new beginnings, you know, and there was a new beginnings that we were going to see come to completion. So there's a fullness of what God is doing right now, what he's releasing, even to you, the bride, even to those who are listening right now. You've been into it. You've been in a season where the Lord is saying, listen, I'm shooting my arrows of the new beginnings for you this morning. That's the new chapter. That's the new chapter. Alice is talking about it's a new season, the new arrows, God. Father, we thank you for the arrows of your presence, the yes, arrows Jesus. of your of your glory, yes, God, that Jesus. you're releasing right now, God, that we would see the fullness, God, right now. And I even <laughs> saw like the Lord was was polishing our armor. He's polishing our armor. Like for us to know that, listen, it may, you, it may not look like you have this armor on, but listen, the Lord is bringing it to the forefront. He's bringing it to the front. So he wants this thing to shine. So he wants the enemy to see that you're covered. Come on. Mm -hmm. You're covered. Well, not only that, but uh. he's going to see himself in that shiny armor and it's going gonna, it's gonna to bring fear to itself. Oh, Jesus. Fear itself is not going to bring fear in the body of Christ. It's going to be fearful of itself. Because when it looks at itself through the shiny armor, mm. through the shield, yeah. it's going to get scared and run away. And everything the enemy planned, you know why they would polish their shields? Like I, I looked this up one day. They would polish their shields to keep away the bugs, to keep away all these things from their shield. And it, what it would do was it would actually cause the arrows and things that were thrown at them to bounce off. Just like when you oil your body or you oil yourself with your oils, it would actually cause it to bounce back. So like whatever the enemy has been throwing at you lately, wow. it's not going to penetrate or hit you. Jesus. It's just going to like come and it's going to be like, wow. like somebody just flicked you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes we we think like the afflictions of the enemy are like, you know, insane. 
but he has no right. He has no, no nothing. He has no power. So it's just going to come, hit your shield, and bounce back. Hit your shield and bounce back, and it's not going to affect you. It's not going to hurt you, and it's not going to damage anything inside of you. Yeah. It's awesome. Come on, Jesus. Holy Ghost. I want to just say uh, hello to some of the people that are just to uh, joining the broadcast on social media. Those who are listening right now on Radio Air Jesus, you can join us on social media right now. <clears throat> Facebook.com forward slash Radio Air Jesus, or you can follow me on my on my. Pete Garza Ministry page. We're streaming live right now on Facebook. Love to connect with you guys there. But listen, I want to say hello to Susan McHale, Laura Griffith, Amos Pacheco, Jeanette Davis, uh, Judy Laird. Um, come on. Jeanette Saw, Jeanette Davis Saw, Ramona French, Rose Alvarado. Bless you guys. Rusty Greenmeyer. Blessings to you, brother. Tammy Nickerson. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Listen. Thank you guys for sharing. Please continue to share the broadcast as we go. We're just going to be releasing what the Father gives us this morning. You know, there's such a a peace of the Lord right now in the studio. I'm telling you what, uh, even right now. <laughs> but we call today's uh, broadcast because it is Good Friday. But do you know that it's a, it is a Good Friday? It's a Good Friday. Every day is a good day, but today is a Good Friday. <laughs> ah, today's a good Friday. Come on. Thank you, Father. I just worship you, Lord. Just thank it's you, so Father. Good. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Just begin to worship. Right there. Just begin to thank the Lord for, for your day, for what He's doing right now with you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much for your comments. I'm just reading them. They're awesome. We mm. love you. We love you guys so much. Thank you so much for your sweetness. Mm. That's awesome. Thank you, Father. Well, why don't you share what you had, Alice? I know you had some stuff on your heart that you wanted to kind of go and let, let's jump into that yeah. and let's just see what the <clears throat> does. I, I have been having some dreams and, you know, I go online and I go to Facebook and I started seeing that it wasn't just me, but it was other people um, maybe having different kinds of dreams. And so I really felt it was important for me to share it with the body of Christ. Because when I have dreams, it's not just for me. It's always about the body of Christ. And so I kept having like four nights in a row. I kept having um, like where I'm like abandoned and I'm dropped off somewhere and it's pitch black there. And, um, and I feel like this abandonment, like, oh my God, like I'm left here alone. How am I going to get back to the, to where the people were at that dropped me off here? Like they just like, you know, <laughs> dropped me off in some crazy place. And I remember immediately, um, in my dream, I started to pray was the first thing I did. And <clears throat> I started to pray. And when I started to pray, the Lord began to give me a little bitty flashlight. I mean, tiny. And I pulled a little flashlight out and I said, God, I said, this is not going to be enough light to help me find my way back to where I'm supposed to be back to the, to the position where I was before. He says, yes, it will. It's plenty of light. He said, turn it on. And I turned on the flashlight and I began to hear the Lord's voice. He says, if you use the little bit of light you have and you cling to my voice, I'm calling you by your name and I'm calling you forth. And he says, and I am telling you to just listen to me, calling you and calling you and I'll lead you back to the path and I'll bring you to greater, to the, to the greatness. Right. And so I get back on the path and I end up back to the people that abandoned me that in my mind, I thought abandoned me. But it was the Lord setting me apart on purpose. And I get to the people and all of a sudden I see heaven opening up. And so what I thought was a setback, what I thought was abandonment, what I thought was something horrible and bad. It was Jesus trying to teach me and train me of something new. 
that you could be in a place of darkness and think like you've been abandoned and you're alone and God is speaking something different. Sometimes we get in that dark place or that dry place or that wilderness area because he wants you to listen to his voice. He wants to call you by your name and call you out. And there's a light that shines bright inside of each and every one of you. And if you just, and you're like, but I don't have a lot of light inside of me. You know, I've never had encounters. I never had this. That's just lies of the enemy. There's a light that God put inside of you a long time ago. And if you let that light inside of you shine, it's going to take you back to the path. It's going to get you back and you're going to have uh, gained more ground than you could have ever imagined being in, in full lit area. Um, because when I found myself back to where I was supposed to be with this little bitty light, there was such a greater uh, a greatness of heaven that I began to encounter in my dream. Yeah. It was like majestic and it was his wonders. And it was also the enemy right now is lying. He's making you feel like you missed it. He's making you feel like, like disqualified, like unworthy. And you're in this dark place. Like, oh, you've totally gotten off the path. You've, you've totally messed everything up. And that's not true. That's the enemy lying to you to keep you stuck, to keep you in that place of darkness. But the flip side to that is that you cling to the Lord's voice. He's calling you by name. And I don't know why, but I felt this this morning, you know, I felt like, uh, it, we had, a I I had this amazing woman come last night and she said, she told me her name and I was like, Oh my God, I love your name. And she's like, do you know what my name means? And when she said that to me and told me what her name meant, I really believe that it was the Lord saying, do you know what your name means? Wow, come on. <laughs> do you know what my name means? Jehovah Jireh. You know what I'm saying? All the names, like there's like crazy amount of Jesus's names. Do we know what they mean? Do we believe what they mean? Do we believe what? what our name means and what he destined for us, what our purpose is. You know, I just started pulling on that. And I was like, yeah, it's like sometimes people just need to Google their name and find out what their name means sometimes and, and let Jesus speak to them in their spirit. Cause you haven't gotten off the path. You're not lost. You're not confused. You didn't miss anything. God is like, not like one of those people that says, ha ha, you know, you messed up. Now you're off the path and you're going to be lost forever. No, he's calling you by your name. He's calling you by your name. He's, he's sitting there saying, Ramona, Sandra, Lee, I'm calling you. You know, he, he's calling you by name and he's luring you out of that dark place, out of that place. And he's saying, come on over here. I've got greater things for you. Wow, Don't get stuck in the darkness. Don't get stuck in the overwhelming feeling like you're lost when you're not. Listen to my voice. Let me call you out of the wilderness. Let me call you out of that place of darkness that you feel you've been in. And he's calling you out this morning, Sheena. Just listen. Listen to his voice. If you're talking and talking way louder than Jesus, you've got to give Jesus an opportunity to speak to you. Sometimes we have to shut our mouth and listen with our spirit. And our spirit will begin. That's the light inside of you. Our spirit will begin to guide us and to lead us and give us direction when we need it. So I, I, oh, I know the Lord is going to pull you guys out of some things this morning. I can feel it. And I know it. He's, he's calling you by name and he's saying, come out, come out, come on. Come on, you're not going to get stuck. You're not going to be abandoned. You're not going to be left behind. Mm. God, don't fear about <clears throat> being left behind. I just, I rebuke that and I command it to leave you that fear. Wow. You know, the enemy can smell fear. 
<coughs> it can smell fear and it knows when you're fearful and that's what causes it to amplify it it causes it to be magnified when it knows that you're fearful it's like causes the attention of the enemy even more because he knows that you're agreeing with that fear. He knows it's like, it's almost like an alarm goes set off to the camp of the enemy when he can sense and feel fear off of you. Don't have fear. Fear is not of the Lord. Don't be fearful of new things. He's trying to show you something new. Yeah, come on. I just felt like uh, there's somebody right now that's really been you've been battling this this mountain it's like you see this this obstacle that has been placed before you and i literally saw the lord tell just this is what i saw in the spirit i saw the lord get that mountain and he flipped it upside down like literally he flipped the mountain upside down where the mountain became it became a valley and this valley began to flow with the river so i feel like the lord says you need to change your perspective and not look at the mountain as the obstacle but look at the mountain as your river because i'm telling you what there's something about the river right now for those that are listening there's a river that is flowing right now it's a river of his presence right now all you got to do is just jump in that river Come on, <laughs> just jump in that river because see, sometimes the river, you can, if, if the Lord is, if the Lord is turning this mountain and he's turning it into like this, this canyon of glory, this river of glory. Yes, Lord. You see, sometimes we look at the mountain as, as the, as the obstacle, but it's really the encounter. It's the, it's your mountaintop encounter. The Lord wants to flip the way we think. He wants to change the way you're seeing. He wants to change your perspectives this morning. Right now. It's like the Lord is just releasing new eyes to see this morning. Thank you, Jesus. There's an awakening that God is doing right now. And you need to take that by faith. Come on. You got to take it by faith right now. We have to put our faith into action. And Father, we just say we believe God. I believe that I can I can have my mountaintop encounter with you right now, Lord. That I can swim in that river right now. Thank you, Father. I thank you for that 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 presence, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mm. John Suarez, I want to say a blessing to John Suarez and to, to Mia Scott. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. To Latoya Ray, blessings to you. Mm, thank you, Father. You know, this is, I, I love this. This is, this is, this is where we belong. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And this yeah. is where we belong. You know, for, you know, and, and I'm just going to be transparent. You know, I mean, last week we came on the program and, and we've been doing our program for, for many years. On what, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 almost nine years. I know it's been a good bit. We've been doing our radio broadcast for almost nine years and last week when we did this, it, it just felt like there was something different. <clears throat> last week, there was something different. You know, and sometimes what we do is we, there's sometimes that the Lord gives you an assignment. And we go in there and we try to modify what God has already given you the blueprints for. Yes. You see, and oh, that's a word for somebody. Come on. Don't try to modify what God has already put into place and into motion. Right. And you see, the Lord has given you the blueprints, but we can't allow ourselves to go in and begin to try to modify what God is doing. It's almost like it's if, as if the Lord is molding you. He's molding the areas of your life, and he's got this beautiful sculpture, and then somebody comes and just puts their finger in it, and it causes a whole other thing to be formed. You see, this is where we belong, in the presence of and I'm going to tell you what, if you're watching or not, there's nothing you will do. Like it, when you're in the presence of the Lord, the glory of the Lord, everything is just made where it needs to be. It's like, it's easy. It's easy. It's flowing. Come and on. It's easy. And you don't have to work hard for it or strive for it. Oh, <laughs> I, you know, when Pete was talking about the mountain, you know, I, I know like going up the mountain is hard sometimes. But let me tell you, it's to I, I feel like this is for somebody like it's totally worth it. Yeah. Everything you've been doing, it's worth it. 
everything God's been having you do, every uh, every obstacle, <laughs> everything that's come up to try to stop what God's trying to do, it's all worth it. He was He's worthy of it all. He's worthy of every single step, of every single climb. And you know the great thing about the mountain is even Moses would go up to the mountaintop just to talk with God. Mm. How powerful it is that when you're at your mountaintop that you get to talk with God. You and Him together. Ooh, and I remember telling on, Pete Jesus. this yesterday um, because, you know, you go through things, you get attacks. I'm being transparent here. You get attacks, you go through things because of everything God is doing in breakthrough. Jesus. And I remember telling Pete just yesterday, I said, uh, I had to go have a talk with my father today. We had to have a little talk, is what I told Pete. And, and you know, I said it like like not a big deal. Like, we had to have a talk. And, and then I think about it now, and it's like, we had a talk. Like, me and the Lord had a talk. And, you know, my thing to him was, was God, you bring the relief wow. of the pressure that the enemy tries to put on us. He tries to get us under his feet and shove his foot in our neck sometimes. And here comes the Lord and he pulls the enemy off of you. Yes. And he says, Thank I'm going to give you some relief. I'm going to I'm going to come in and the enemy's been doing this way too long. He's had a good time, but it's not finished and it's not done because I haven't said it. And I, and I just saw the Lord like right now. I just had a vision of the Lord coming and removing the things of the enemy and bringing relief to you, making things a little bit easier, making things smoother, yes. making things more flowy. And, yes, you know, sir. where you could just flow with Jesus. Some of you haven't been able to feel the presence of God. You haven't been able to feel his love. And I'm telling you. Some of you've got to get to the mountain to have the talk with him. You've got to get before the Lord of intimacy and say, God, I'm here, God. Like, I'm here and, and we need to have a talk, God. Some of you haven't had a talk with Jesus in a long time. And you're like, well, I've been doing ministry and I've been preaching and I've been doing all these great things. Well, yeah, all that's great. But have you had a talk with your father? That's so good. Yes. Have you had a talk with your father? Mm. Today's a day that you go to the mountaintop like Moses and you have a talk with your papa. You have a talk with your daddy and say, God, I don't understand all these things, but if you could just give me some relief in these areas, she <coughs> that relieve me of some of these duties relieve me of some of the i just feel like harabashati like there's some duties <laughs> there's some duties on, that god's gonna be begin thank to you, relieve Lord. you of thank you, and you're gonna have to see that it's jesus who's relieving you of these duties because he's gonna give you more time to be intimate with him yes Lord. don't be upset or offended Sometimes we get offended and we get bothered by things around us that bring change. And we're like, well, I didn't want to do that. Well, I didn't want to let go of this. I didn't want to let go of that. And God's all, you had to. I had to do an exchange with you. We had to come and do an exchange and you give me some things. And then I give you what you're really supposed to have. I give you the truth. I give you the authentic, mm. pure love and presence yeah. in exchange for that thing you've been holding on to you know it, it, it's it's the lord it's you and the lord the mountaintop encounter because when you go to the mountain with the lord you come down with the wisdom and the revelation you come down with the wisdom revelation and identity of who you are and who he is right now thank you lord for the mountaintop encounters you know i I want to share. I have something for somebody. Um, there's somebody who's watching our stream. Your, your name is Leti Sandoval. Leti Sandoval. I just saw like like uh, I saw you on a beach right now in the spirit. The Lord allowed me to see you on a on a on a, on a beach. 
And the Lord says that you love beaches. Like I just saw that you love beaches. But I saw you standing on the beach and you had bare feet and it was beautiful white sand. And as you were there, you begin to crinkle your toes. And every time you crinkled your toes, the sand began to cover your feet. And there was something about the way you liked the way the sand felt when it covered your toes and stuff. It was really weird. But I feel like the Lord is saying that you've entered into this season of just peace and rest with him. But not to look at the areas and not to look at the situation, but for you to look at the good things, to know that he's a good God. That there's promises and, and words that God has spoken over your life since you were a little girl. He says, and those words are coming to fruition. And the reason why you felt and you felt like this, this wall that you've been hitting, it's because the promises are right there. Your breakthrough is right there. You're right there. Don't look backwards. You need to continue to look forward, Letty. You need to look forward. <laughs> you need to... Huh? I just thank you, God, for what you're going to do in her life, God. I thank you for the presence, God. I thank you for her hunger and her zeal and her passion, God. Lord, I thank you for the, the revivalist inside of her, God. Her, her calling, even your calling for women right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you for her calling, God, that she would begin to see her purpose, God. And I speak identity and I speak purpose into you right now. And I declare, God, the fullness, God. And I declare the arrows, the arrows of the new beginnings are being penned penetrated and hitting your heart right now there's an awakening that god's doing right now with you lefty listen receive that right now today is a new day today is a day of awakening for you today is a day of just re refreshing and renewing and and that resting of the lord it's what alice is saying it, it it's the it's the what, what do you say it was the refreshing it's the um, it's the relief. The relief. <laughs> the relief. Wow. <clears throat> you know what I saw, uh, Letty, was that when you go to the beach, sometimes we stay way too long on the sandy beach area when God is calling us to go deeper. <laughs> sometimes we've got to walk from that beginning of the beach area and we've got to step out in faith and we got to step out to the deeper. I just saw the Lord uh, like calling you deeper, calling you deeper, go into yes. the deep with him. And as, and don't like, don't look back. Like Pete was saying, like, I saw you on the beach. You don't have to look back to see who's Jesus. watching you to see who's seeing you. Cause it's about you and him. You just keep walking forward into the waters, into the deeper things that he has for you. And you'll never go wrong with going deeper. He's waiting for you. He didn't leave you. He's waiting for you on the deeper end. If yeah. you could just look across the ocean, you're going to see him standing there calling you in deeper. That's right. Can we just thank the Lord real quick? Just like yes. just worship the Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you. Come on. Yes, Lord. Listen, everybody who's tuning in right now, I want to thank everybody who's who's watching all over the world. Those that are watching on, on, on social media. If you're listening right now on Radio Air Jesus, thank you so much. Please continue to share. But I want us to take a praise break. Come on. Like a Holy Ghost praise break right now that we can just <laughs> say, Father, we just welcome you. Yes, Jesus. And I want everybody who's watching right now, I want yes. you, I want you to um I want you to worship with us. I want you to worship with us right now. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. So awesome. Yes. <laughs> Again, that I want to. song walk. makes you want to dance. Come like, on, just listen. Tw twirl around for Jesus. <laughs> uh, some people were asking who that was. Uh, that is Jeff and Suzanne Watley. If you're listening right now on Radio Jesus, that is Jeff and Suzanne Watley off their Paradise CD. Um, that one was called All Consuming Fire. Yes, All they're Consuming awesome. Fire. Yeah, we I just love, love their them. music, yes. Yes, Lord, thank you. Again, if you're just tuning in right now, if you're watching on, on Facebook, God bless you. I want to thank you for for uh, hanging out with us this morning as we come and, you know, Great Awakening. The Great Awakening, it's like, <laughs> I didn't even realize it had been that long. I mean, like when we were talking about how long we've been doing the program, it's like, <laughs> I mean, wow, it's like, that's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> We've been doing this program for almost nine years. Well, for nine years. It's awesome. Thank you, Father, for nine years of just, wow. Man, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people 
have been oh, able to yeah. be blessed and been able to, oh, that's so good. Yeah. Those are seeds that have been planted. Come on, that's a lot to be happy for. <laughs> Come on, that is good. Well, and it's spring, so some things are going to be blossoming. Yes. It's so awesome. <sighs> all those seeds of all those years. Like, that's why I'm telling you today, like, it's totally worth the sacrifice. Yeah. It's totally worth, you know, Today is a day where the most impactful, most powerful day that could have happened to us was the crucifixion of Christ. And when he was crucified and when he walked that path, Rimashiti, when he walked that path, yeah. God. It's uh, listen, your flesh sometimes somebody, wants to give up, but we can't <laughs> give up. Somebody wrote early, it's Friday, but Sunday is coming. Yeah. And I love that because you know what? That's the resurrection. <coughs> That's the resurrection. Father, the resurrection power. You know, I love what the word says. It says that you know the same spirit the rise Jesus, the resurrected Jesus from the dead lives inside of you and I, you and yes. I, us. Yes. That same spirit that we we walk with the authority and the power of the kingdom of heaven. Heaven's army goes before you. Come on. Heaven's army goes before you and around you and side by side, everywhere around us, heaven is here father we thank you god for god so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son come on that whosoever come on whoso we're we're the whosoever's whosoever believed in him would not perish but that they would have everlasting eternal life father i just thank you for that i think that's the key right there we would have life not death we would have life not death oh, Jesus. we would have life and not death god speaking to those things inside of you today this morning those things that you thought were dead inside of you mm. that passion that love that you thought was dead inside of you. Man, I can't feel anything anymore. God, God, I'm <coughs> such in a dark place. And God's saying, I spoke life into you. Yeah. Let it come oozing out. Let life come oozing out of you. Be excited wow. with life. Wow. Because of what he's done for us. Come on. He gave you life. I just heard this. I heard today is somebody's good Friday. <laughs> And to know that he's going to resurrect the things that the enemy has tried to put to death inside of you. Ah, ah, right now. Listen, if that's you right now, listen, listen to what I'm saying. This is the word from the Lord right now. The Lord is going to resurrect those areas that the enemy has. I even saw where the enemy tried to come and even put out your fire. Listen, if that's you right now and you're watching, can you write me on the screen? Just write me on the screen. If you feel like the enemy has tried to come and put this fire out. And even now where there's areas in your life that you feel the enemy has brought and even death. Even in the natural where the enemy has tried to even whispers where, where death has tried to come and sit upon you. If that's you, type me. Because today is a resurrection for you. There's a resurrection power that the Lord has for you and I as sons and daughters to know that you are his beloved come on right now if that's you say me come on they're all saying me 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 come on <laughs> holy ghost thank you jesus right now right now listen we're gonna pray everybody get your me in there right now everybody get your me get your me just stick your hands out ready to receive yeah receive it because sometimes what it takes listen sometimes we have to position ourselves a lot of times we do this and we're like we're, we're, we're ready. We're worshiping. But when the Lord wants to pour out, he's like this. Uh -huh. We have to position ourselves to receive what the Lord has for us right now. Listen, and prophetically, come on, we, ha we have to put our faith into action. So right now, as you're doing this, don't worry about how you look. Even if you're in your office at work, take a moment. Put your hands like this. 
Huh. Get ready to receive right now. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, God, we just declare, God, your resurrection glory on us right now. Lord, that you would bring to life the areas of our lives that the enemy has tried to steal. Lord, I speak awakening, God. I speak resurrection power right now into everybody that has their hands lifted like this, God. I speak resurrection life now. I speak awakening. I speak life. I speak power, your glory, your presence, God, right now. Be released. <laughs> There's a fresh wind. There's a fresh wind right there. Receive it now. Just feel the wind blowing over your face right now. Oh, Father. It's almost like your Jesus. face can feel this tingling Jesus. on it. And you know that it's the Lord. Jesus. Fresh winds. No more death. We speak life. We speak life in your marriage. I speak life in your business. I speak life in your walk. I speak life to your body. I speak life to the lifeless. I speak victory. I speak to the overcomers to arise right now. I declare the overcomers are arising right now. And I speak to your inner man right now. Sons and daughters, it's time to arise. Oh, it's time to arise. What of Asanda? God, we break off suicidal thoughts right now, God. Show. <laughs> we break off suicidal Jesus. thoughts, God. We break off suicidal thoughts right now in the name of Jesus. We break off unworthiness right now, God. Jesus. We are worthy Jesus. because you've made us worthy, God. We are righteous because you've made us righteous, God. Yes. You've made us right with us because of the crucifixion, God. Because of everything you endured for each and every one of us, God. That's what makes us worthy. That's what makes us righteous, God. Is because you took it all upon yourself. All the sins of the world upon yourself, God. That we can sit here, we can stand here and encounter you. And receive your fire. And receive all that you have for us, God. As your children. <laughs> mm. Let that joy just come and ignite your heart again. Let the joy of the Lord ignite your heart again and awaken your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Wow. Come on. <laughs> come on. Right there. Holy Spirit. <laughs> Yes, Lord. <laughs> Holy Spirit, have your way. Have your way. Right now, every person listening on Radio Air Jesus, everybody listening on social media through Facebook, right now, God, your presence, tangible and transferable anointing, be released right now. Sons of thunder, arise. Daughters of destiny, <laughs> take your place. <laughs> oh, take your place. Eagles of fire, mount up. <laughs> Eagles of fire, mount up. Eagles of fire, mount up. <laughs> the war horses are being let out of the stalls. <laughs> You're being, they're being released out of the stalls. Uh, I can see the horses. I can see the horses. Father, I can see the horses, God. You're so awesome, God. Wisdom and revelation. Wisdom and revelation, God, be released right now. Mm. 
vision, vision, encounters. Eagles of fire, mount up. It's time to soar. It's time to take place and to take flight. It's time to fly to the sun. <laughs> uh, the Lord's giving you new beaks. Some eagles are getting their new beaks right now. because I love when God shows up and does this. Adam says, wow, I just had an encounter. <laughs> and Thank you, Father. Yes, consume us. Somebody else said, yes, Lord, consume us. Jesus. Consume us, God. Thank you, Father. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. God is just so amazing. He's just like filling us up this morning. He's he's overflowing our bellies this morning. <laughs> There's such an overflow right now in the atmosphere. Oh, Jesus. Like, I just see this spout like you can drink from it. Some of you need to get your mouths open and drink from the spout. Drink from the new springs that are busting forth, yes, springing through that refreshing water. You just have to say, God, I just want I just want some of that. I want some of that refreshing water, the Jesus. living waters. I just want to drink from your cup, God. Some of you need a drink from his cup right now. Just take a take a gulp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take a gulp. There's no limits on what God wants to give you today. <laughs> like <sighs> I just saw like this big old cup like <laughs> that said gulp like and they're so big <laughs> and huge those cups <laughs> I, I know when I've seen those cups I'm like oh my god how can one person drink so much <laughs> and God's all like that's the overflow that's the overflow you can drink as much as you want you can get the cup the gulp cup <laughs> <laughs> and oh, fill it up all the way and let it overflow. The Drink from it. <laughs> Take the gulp this morning. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and they used to sell that at the old stores of 7 Elevens. 7 Elevens. 7 Elevens. That seven of completion. That's it. That's the fullness. <laughs> Come on. Get your big cup. Get your big gulp from the fullness. Man, I feel the glory. Ah. <laughs> Come on. Thank I'm going to go try to see if I can find something. The Lord is just reminding me of something. Yeah. I'm like, oh, Jesus. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Oh. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you for your presence. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your presence, Gina. God. <laughs> Thank you for your glory, God. Thank you, Lord. Ramashiti. <laughs> Father, you're so good. You're so faithful. Thank you, Lord. Uh. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Patty says she's drinking. Come on, Patty. <laughs> yeah, when you begin to drink, you just begin to feel like this peace and this Ooh. rest. Like all your thoughts of your normal thinking, they just begin to disappear. Like you began to get the fullness of the Lord in his presence. <laughs> Come on, Jesus. I'm over here trying to look for something I have in my phone. I can't even focus to find it. I'm like, I know it's in here, God. Fill us up, God. Fill it's them so up, God. Good. Fill them up, God, right now, Lord. 
Thank you, Lord. <laughs> yes. The overflow, the abundance. Come on. Joy, joy, joy. Mm. Joy, joy. Thank you. Joy, Jesus. joy, joy. Come on, Jesus. Oh, my God. Jesus, thank you, Father. <laughs> so good. <clears throat> so, I, I mean, I want you guys to share, like... Adam was like, oh, my God, I just had an encounter. I love to hear what people are experiencing, what they're feeling, what God is doing through them. Oh, my God, it's so awesome. I yes. love that. Yes, listen, if you're watching right now or if you're listening, if you're listening, please send us an email to RadioAirJesus at gmail.com. But if you're watching right now, um, can you write a comment let us know what's happened to you since you've been on the broadcast. Maybe you maybe you encountered something or maybe you heard the Lord or you saw the mountains being <laughs> whatever it is, please share wow. right now. Write in the right on a comment, please. Because it builds faith in the house. It builds faith for those to know that they can receive their miracle, they can receive their 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 breakthrough right now. <sighs> Julie says, I got in the mail the other day, 7 on my son Joshua's letter, praying my son comes home to Jesus as well. Wow, come on. Wow. Oh my God, God is speaking so loudly to you. God, we pray for her son, God. We pray that you give him breakthrough, that you give him a revelation that awakens his spirit today, God, mm. that causes him, like even his heart to be touched, God. I pray for healing for his heart, God, that you would restore it greater than it was before, God, in his life, Lord. We just pray for Julie's son, God, for breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Come on. And you know yeah. what? Your son's name is Joshua, and that whole 7-Eleven, the fullness. But it's <laughs> Joshua. Joshua was able to step into the Shima. promise. Ha. So the promise is that the Lord has spoken over your life. You will see she. it will come to the fullness and the completion. So and that one eleven, that 11-11, that's the double-double blessing of the Lord upon your son right now. So you got to receive that right now. I want to read some Jesus. of these comments. Can you read some of these comments for me? Yes, uh, Letty says, thank you, Lord, for joy. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, William, just, William, yeah. wrote, William wrote, as soon as I started watching, he says, I felt fire light up in my hands. Wow. And I feel the fire going up and down. My back and joy hit me and a lot of peace. Come That's on. awesome. Mary says, I got hit with a joy bomb. <laughs> so full of peace in my belly it's <laughs> oh. so good a much needed a, 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 a bid I, I could be saying your name wrong I'm sorry a much needed refreshing and fresh wind for me that's awesome yes thank come you on. Jesus seeing the whole air filled Jeanette, in an atmosphere Jeanette, of glory yeah. Jeanette says seeing the whole air filled in the atmosphere of glory wow. and the Lord revealing a cup and coming from a massive fountain of his presence <laughs> flowing out of all of us. Come on. That's so good. Let the sound of all. It says, I feel more peace. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Rose Alvarado says, you spoke a prophecy over me last week. You said that God was releasing my horse this season. Yes, I remember that. That morning, wow. a horse was born here at our ranch wow come on that's I so awesome i love when god does that in the natural it's amazing Jesus. it's so powerful lee ellen barnes writes the peace and the love came over me come on these are manifestations of the yeah. presence of god we got to be joyful come on uh the bomb of gilead for my heart today god is speaking that my husband uh, is at the edge of the breakthrough, which is what he's going through. He's angry and irritable. Oh, Come on, no. we speak breakthrough yeah, right now. Yeah, let the peace and the rest would be upon him today, God. You would remove yes. all that anger, God. Yes. Lauren writes, feeling the shackles being removed. <laughs> I love oh, that. Jesus. Amia Scott <laughs> writes, I feel the peace of the Lord. I feel the peace in my heart, and this atmosphere is different from what I feel in the ministry I go to. Come on. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank Just you, allowing each and every one of you to experience Him That's what it's all in about. a different way. Thank you that we can come. And all have these encounters and experiences with him. 
Because he's giving each and every one of you exactly what you need today. That's right. That's what it's about. Listen, the atmosphere is charged. The Spirit of the Lord is here. All you got to do is take it. You see, when the cloud of glory comes and it, it's there for you, you can take it. You have access to it already. Right. You have access to it already. But there's something about the cloud when it begins to linger and hover. Mm-hmm. Everything becomes tangible. It's, it's, it's here and it's now. Yeah, I just want to pray for Bianca and her family. God, we, we ask that your presence... Just like the atmosphere that was in here this morning, God, that you send it to her family, God, that you give them breakthrough, unity, and love for one another, God, like never before, God. Ramahashati. Ramona says, I need prayer right now. I just got a call that um, my other is in jail. God, we just pray, God, that you would, in the natural, release them, God, from whatever whatever that thing is they got caught up in God I pray for breakthrough in that for her and her family in Jesus name yes Um, Lord listen we just say thank you for everybody who's with us this morning and those that are watching on social media through Facebook live and whatever (laughs) media those who are going to be watching on YouTube later on the archives we bless you listen we bless you guys and, and there's so much more there's so much more that God has for you you know, we're going to be in, in Pennsylvania in two weeks. April, I guess it's in two weeks. Go to our website. We invite you to go to our website. Go to... go to Yeah, fo- runwithrevival.com. We have all our <clears throat> schedule on there. You can go on there. You can read up on it. You can see where we're going to be. So you can come see us and say hi to us and come be with us. I want you to follow us on, on social media. Listen, go to facebook.com forward slash run with revival that's facebook.com forward slash run with revival stay connected with with, with, what we're doing our our schedule we're going to be in alabama we're going to be in birmingham alabama june the third june the first and second we're going to be ministering out there in the memphis tennessee area brighton tennessee area then we're going to be in texas on the the sixth of june we're going to be in Texas, and then we're going to be, we're, we've got a whole schedule coming up. We're looking to be in Chicago, come on, really soon. We've got a lot of things coming up, so we want to connect with you guys. Listen, we want to connect and what the Lord's doing all over the nation. And I, I, I want to give you guys an opportunity, those that are watching right now, an opportunity, if you've been blessed today, to sow a seed. Sow a seed into what God's doing all over. The Lord says that, that, that we, you know, he's given us the ability to reach 132 nations all over the world just to <clears throat> telling people about the goodness of God. If you've been blessed this morning and you want to sow a seed, there's a link on the bottom, paypal.me forward slash radio or Jesus, and you can sow a seed today, and it helps us to continue to do what we do, reaching the nations. Come on. It's a media revival. Holy Ghost. Come on. I love that. I love that. It's a media revival. We love you guys. Do you have anything you want yeah, to share? Well, you I'll... know, a lot of people are sending in prayer requests. Okay, yes. And we're we're wrapping the, we're wrapping this up, but I want to also tell everybody about our prayer line number. Okay. Um it's 1-888-406-9115. Again, that's 1-888-406-9115. We are seeing your prayer requests. We are believing and praying for you guys. Such an awesome testimony, Monica. Oh my God, that's powerful. Thank you so much for sharing your heart on here today. Thank you for sharing like what God showed you. It is wow. so amazing what God is doing for us today. There's wow. no more delay in the spirit of God. Monica, He's come just on. coming through. Yeah, isn't that powerful? Wow, yes. <laughs> wow. Beautiful, beautiful, yeah, beautiful. Oh, Lauren, we just pray for you, God. We pray for Lauren that you make a way where there's no way, God. The possible, the impossible things be possible in her life today, God. We just pray for her right now in Jesus' name. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, yes, as far as I know, you can. Um, they're asking if they can call from like another country on that line. Yeah, it's toll free. It's, yeah, it's a toll free number. Um, let me put it on here for you they guys. They put it up there. It's on there. Okay, right. they did. Okay. 
Um, yeah. Yes, but we would love to pray with you. We always have somebody ready to pray um, for the body of Christ. And Julie, we are waiting to see how God opens up the doors for Australia. Australia has been on my radar for the past year and a half now. Yes. And I'm just waiting for the Lord to give us an opportunity. I know she, she sent in a request that she wants us to be in Australia. So in we would Jesus' love to name, come. Yeah. that door would open up for us in Australia. Holy we Ghost. would love to come, yes. So listen, we're going to go ahead and we're going to close in prayer today. Um, Father, I just thank you, God, for everything that you did today, God. Every word that was released from your heart, God. Lord, every, every encounter, every vision, every promise, God. Yes, every Lord. revelation that was released today, God, that you would seal it in our hearts, God, and let it come from the vault. Let that be in our vault of love <laughs> that you've given us, God. Lord, right now, Lord, we just we just thank you for what you're going to do. We thank you for your resurrection, Jesus. Father, we thank you for your resurrection right now. We just thank you, God. Because today is truly, truly a good Friday. <laughs> yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, guys, listen. Go ahead and put us on this camera right here, Chris, if you can. You know, we always close up the program. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we always close up our program saying this, so I want to say it again. Yes. You ready? Yes. Remember, remember, remember. 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 To K-O-F. K-O-F. Keep, Keep on, on fire, fire everybody. Until Come next on. week, we love you guys. We love you guys.